Hello, I'm Paul, and this is Paul Plays With Fire. Welcome. Today we're gonna to be making stuffed pepper soup. We've been making stuffed peppers for decades, and later on we migrated to more of a Southwestern style stuffed pepper. You may have seen that episode earlier on in the show. And then a couple years ago, I ran across this recipe, which is stuffed pepper soup. It's everything you want in a stuffed pepper, except in soup form. It's delicious, it's filling, it's comfort food, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Uh, we got a bunch of ingredients to get ready, so let's get busy. Okay, we're making stuffed pepper soup. We got a lot of ingredients to get ready. And of course, we got quite a few peppers to chop up. So let's get going on that. We can do a little, we can talk about some of the current events while I'm chopping. Well, one of the good news, one of the good things coming up, we're going to Cozumel again. Uh, we're going down there with my siblings this time. And uh, uh, we're gonna stay in a bed and breakfast. And I'm pretty sure, I'm, well, I told them I'd do some cooking for them, so. Uh, We'll probably film, we'll probably take some cameras and film some of that, because that'll be fun. It's, it's a, we're staying in an old mission style architecture place in, in Old Town. And it, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. The kitchen looks fantastic. It's gonna be very, very film worthy. And then of course, we'll go out to eat at a ball, all of our favorite restaurants. And we'll probably make a video or two from that, because I know there's some people out there that really want to like those Cosmo restaurant videos. They're very, very popular and, and we thank you for it. We're gonna cut up these peppers in about, oh, spoon-sized pieces. You know, it's it's a soup and they have to they have to fit under the spoon, so. And I think the recipe calls for about two cups of pepper. We got three or four of them here. We'll see how it goes. Oh, uh, while we're making soup here, one of the other things I wanna mention is I got, I'm gonna do several soup episodes here in January because let's face it, it's soup season. You know, and these soups are all like this one. They're all hot and filling and delicious and hearty and just what you want on a cold Midwestern night. So um, we're looking forward to that. And I got here. This is my this is my folder of soup recipes. It's a lot. Got a lot of got a lot to work with in there. Oh, another thing I'm going to do coming up. Um, I'm gonna make a starter from scratch. I'm gonna make a sourdough starter using just flour and water, water and magic. Um, and I've done it before, and uh, I, I've got better quality flour these days, so I think rye flour is one of the big secrets to getting this to work well. Um, so I, I think, I, I certainly have more, more, uh, more quality ingredients and more knowledge than I did the last time I tried it, which was about three years ago. But anyway, we're gonna make a video of that just to show you how it's done. And you know, if you're in a situation where you don't know anybody else that has a starter and you wanna make some sourdough, this is a good way to get it done. Like I said, I think the secret is to start with rye flour. We'll let you know when, when we've gone through the process, or at least some portion of rye flour. I don't wanna give away all my secrets ahead of time. I don't know if you've ever noticed how I cut a pepper. I cut around the seeds. I don't try and separate from the seeds. That way you can uh, just throw the seed head away when you're done. And I'm sure we get a few seeds in there, but it won't kill you. And peppers are in the name, so you figure we're gonna need a bunch of bell peppers. Another type of stuffed pepper I've threatened to make um, is a, uh, boy, somewhere from Eastern Europe. They make a, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, it's a stuffed pepper in a tomato soup with some mashed potatoes on beside it in the soup. And it's, it's, it's all the things I want in a stuffed pepper. There's a, 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 a fellow that used to run a restaurant here in town. I believe he's Croatian. Um, he made that and it was so good. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That will do. I think I don't think we need that fourth one. I think three is going to be enough. So we'll get to busy. And I just want to touch briefly on the ingredients here. We've got some beef broth. We've got some tomatoes and some other and tomato sauce. We've got a cup of rice. Cup of rice. Um, we've got uh, some garlic. I minced up earlier. A little bit of brown sugar. Some thyme. Some rosemary and some oregano. Salt, pepper, and of course some ground beef. So next thing you know, we'll be over at the stove. 
Okay, we got our trusty faithful Dutch oven here that we use for everything. We're gonna add some ground beef to it. Christy got this tool someplace. It's great for grounding up beef. salt and pepper. Then we're going to add our onions and our peppers. Mostly to the pan. And our chopped garlic. Stir that up real good. We'll just let those flavors get to know each other for a while. Okay, everything's come along nicely. Every the peppers have softened, the onions have softened, the garlic has turned delicious. The whole thing is kind of turning delicious. So the meat is nice and brown. So we're gonna add our tomatoes next. We've got two cans of Rotel. The recipe I have, my, my, my adapted recipe calls three, for three cans of, of Rotel because I like it a little zippy. Christy requested I only use two cans because it was a little too zippy last time. So, and then another can of just plain diced tomatoes. and a can of tomato sauce. We're gonna expose that to just a little bit of heat that it won't get in the soup. And mix that all up. Mmm, it's starting to look really good. Might as well add the rest of our ingredients while we're at this stage. We've got our thyme, rosemary, and oregano. About a, maybe a teaspoon of each. That's that's kind of to taste. And then our brown sugar. I had the brown sugar is on the original recipe I got. Uh, I crossed it off, and then I wrote it back down again. So it must be important. It does sweeten it up a little bit. And then eight cups of beef, beef broth, or at least as many will fit. That's full, but it'll cook down a little bit. This is not a soup that likes to boil over. Famous last words. And then finally, a cup of rice, just regular old, regular old uncooked rice. And it will cook in the soup and everything will, all the ingredients will become one. And we will let that, Simmer, the original recipe calls for 10 minutes. That's not enough. I wrote down 45 minutes. It probably wouldn't have to be that long, but you can tell when the rice is done. When the rice is done, that's when you're ready to eat. They can always wait a little longer. Some people say, well, you overcook the rice. Try congee, that's overcooked rice and it's delicious. Okay, <laughs> here we are. We got, us our, we got ourselves a bowl of soup. Look at that, isn't that just delicious? Oh my goodness, oh yeah. That's a uh, stuffed pepper soup. All of the elements of, of stuffed peppers in a soup form. Mm. Oh, and it is hot and delicious and just the right amount of seasoning. Mm. Filling and hearting and just everything you want on a cold winter day. So I'm Paul. This has been Paul Plays with Fire. We made soup today. We made stuffed pepper soup. Boy, was it good. We got a whole bunch of other soup recipes coming up and a bunch of other stuff coming up beyond that. So make sure you subscribe because I wouldn't want you to miss anything. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. See you next time. Bye.